one bottle of polish, my bottles hold 12 milliliters, so I put in 13. This is a, suspen a suspension base because there's glitters in this polish. Oops, went a little bit over. So if there's glitter in the polish, you have to use a suspension base or the polish will, polish will settle to the bottom and uh, no one likes that. So next are the, sco uh, the scooper spoons that I told you about. These are great for making these one, two bottle batches. Uh, the bigger stuff, you're gonna wanna use different utensils and we'll go over that later. You don't wanna be doing like a hundred scoops of something. So um, anyway, let's uh, put a couple of scoops of our main ingredient in here. I'm not gonna tell you what the ingredients are, sorry. I would love to, but uh, that's kinda, that's kinda giving away my trade secrets, you know? So anyway, there's three scoops of this first ingredient. Now, like I said, this is how you develop your colors. You don't want to start big, making a giant batch of something that is really ugly. So you will be able to, though later, if you make sure that you write all these down, you'll be able to remake it by multiplying it by the number of bottles wanted. Now, these scoopers are 0.15 cc's. So believe it or not, that can be translated into another one. So uh, we're going to start next. Um, I will tell you, is a platinum. I use platinum a lot. It gives a certain sheen to everything. And um, again, we're dealing with very small um, proportions. So this takes two drops of platinum. Honestly, I don't know what this polish is because uh, I'm trying to recreate one that I made and made the biggest mistake. I did not write it down. You have to write down everything you do in your journal. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing worse than trying to figure out how to make a polish that's so beautiful and you didn't write it down. So, uh, I gotta keep going here. Next is uh, one of my favorites. I'm gonna use another spoon. You can get a metal spoon to use, um, but then you gotta clean it off and it's hard to go fast on that. So this is gonna take two scoops of this. Okay. Now, next is a little bit of liquid and it's called love. I'll give it to you. So this is gonna take two drops drops of love. There. Now a couple of drops of love is in there. Everybody can use a little love. Okay, next I like to put things in little uh, containers because when you open a plastic bag the tiny stuff goes everywhere. So no matter what. So this takes one scoop of that one and one more yes one more okay and this one still is in its bag so whew, there it goes everywhere um, last ingredient Ooh, I'm gonna breathe that in I have a vent hood installed I have to turn it off so you guys can hear me so that takes one scoop of that I don't know if you can see that stuff flying around but it's everywhere so we'll come back in a second and we'll mix it up okay here we go. Remember I told you to get these wood sticks? You could actually use popsicle sticks, whatever you want. Um, I like to use these smaller ones because sometimes you need to poke them in the bottle to get stuff done. So anyway, when you're dealing with these very fine glitters, before you use the hand mixer, I mean, you could use this to mix it up, but you want to get it to really mixed up. You need to get them wet. If not, they will explode and go all over you. I had a stars and garters explosion one time. So anyway, now it's wet. If you remember, I put on the list these little hand mixers. Actually at TKB, they sell them for like five bucks. Believe me, they're worth, they're, they're obviously it's five bucks. I mean, I got several of them at a time. So anyway, so next, we start mixing. It's kind of loud. But I, Let's see what we got. Yeah. 
Okay, the color's really pretty. It's hard to tell with this light in here. But I'm liking it. Hmm. Okay, we'll be right back and we will try to swatch a little bit of it. Okay, here we are back and um, we want to, before we swatch it, normally I would swatch it from here, but since we're limited on time, I thought I'd show you what you do to get the bottles together. And uh, what I do is I, I put two bowls in every bottle, okay? Then the next thing you wanna do is do your pour. These are always fun to do, uh, right? I like to do them and show them on Instagram and whatnot, but they're kind of hard to do because you got to not hit that side. Otherwise, it just ruins the whole thing. But sometimes I have to do it like two or three times. Anyway, this is really pretty. I think we're going to like it. Woo, see, not looking and I lose it. Okay. Get it all the way up there. I like to get it close enough to the top that the bottle's full, that you gotta leave a little bit of room for the brush to go in because you don't want it to overflow. So, okay, that is pretty. I really like it. I think, I think it's a keeper. But anyway, the next thing you do is add your brush. I found some great brushes. They're nice, they're wide, and they're flat. Anyway, when you put the brush in and screw the cap on, doing that, screwing the cap on actually is what attaches it to the brush, actually to the cap. So now it's in there and it's one piece. 